USF tonight is looking at building its own football stadium. They've got a couple of locations in mind, but how to pay for it is the million dollar question. Fox 13's Marissa Lynn joins us now with more on this big development for USF fans. Tell us about it. Well, Kelly, it's important to note that this is a preliminary study. In this particular study, which costs $75,000 to do, university officials analyzed the likelihood of a campus stadium. It's the first of several steps USF is taking to, to decide whether or not an on-campus stadium will one day be a reality. If we had the dollars today, we're still five to seven years out. USF still has a long ways to go before an on-campus football stadium is a reality. But a new study released Tuesday shows where it could be built and when and if it will ever happen. Zone 1 is located on the west side of USF's campus near the intersection of Fowler Avenue and Bruce B. Downs. Zone 2 is on the opposite side in the southeast corner of the campus off of Fowler Avenue and USF Bull Run Drive where the Museum of Science and Industry is currently located. So right now these are just locations that we know that these are viable locations. It answers the mail back to the Board of Trustees. Can it be done? The answer is we have identified locations. Now let's look at the financial strategy. Let's look at the fundraising feasibility analysis. Early estimates suggest a new seating with seating for 40 to 50,000 people would cost $200 million. Figuring out how to pay for it without taxpayer dollars or student tuition funds is the next challenge. I'm very optimistic on where the process has been, how the trustees have engaged in this, how leadership is completely engaged in everything we do, we're doing. The study looked at 14 stadiums around the country, including Clemson University and Ole Miss, to conceptualize possibilities for not only a stadium, but also a tailgating area called the Bull Zone to enhance the fan experience. For now, Raymond James Stadium will remain the home of the Bulls. USF has a 24-month out in their current lease with the stadium should their own come into fruition during their current six-year deal. We owe it to really look into that. What would it do for campus life if we're on this campus, for the overall university? For our football, football program right now um, and the excitement that we have, we're, we're thrilled to be at Raymond James Stadium. So what comes after this? Well, USF officials will present this study to the trustee group next week. More studies are forthcoming, including how a possible stadium would be financed. Now, in terms of how this will affect an indoor practice facility and football complex, Mark Harlan stated USF is absolutely committed to that indoor facility. Kelly? It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Thank you so much, Marissa.